Hello, my ninjas. Been a while since I've posted any videos. As you can see by the background, I'm not in the field, unfortunately, and I can't give you any idea if or when I will return to the field. Um, a few months ago, I fell on some health issues that have yet to be identified and rectified, and, well, I don't think they ever will. So, Apparently, the healthcare system around here is extremely lazy, and uh, they, they just don't want to do any extra thinking. So, enough with that. Um, Sasquatch Ontario posted a video this morning. Uh, the title was Ancient Human Types, Not Apes. Caught my attention. I've been saying this for many years. They're not animals. They're not apes. And uh, they're, they're people. They're an ancient race of people. Um, I agree with that title 100%. They're not people. I mean, they're not animals. I'm sorry. Um, I left a comment on that video. And a, a gentleman responded saying well technically people are animals well yes they are i agree with you scientifically yes we're considered animals i was just drawing an imaginary line between humans and actual animals like bears and deer and birds and fish you know what i mean it was just, there's no need to read between the lines so he made a couple of statements in that video, and one of those statements was contact experience. And I agree with that. A contact experience is everything. That's especially when it's a positive contact experience. Um, during my two years of visiting Carta, Fletch, and Mercy, my contact experience, I learned a lot. Okay, if you all remember in the beginning, I used to call Fletch Devil Boy, because I've literally seen him face to face, and he's very chiseled features. He looked like a cartoon devil. And that was not his personality, his attitude, or his demeanor. He's very curious. He's very docile. And that was not a good name, a, a fitting name for him. Absolutely incredible being. Um, and I learned a lot from them. I learned a lot from them. You know, I, I set out on this journey of, of Sasquatch, Bigfoot, to find out for myself. And I originally went up into that area just to go exploring, just to get out of the house, get out in nature, and just go explore. I never expected to find them in that area. The area just does not fit. Um, but there's water, there's food, and there's shelter. What else do you need? So, not, not quite the environment I would expect them to find them, but I did. And, uh, actually watched Small Town Monsters episodes, and they have, uh, a map uh, a website and just out of curiosity I went there I went to the area and there's actually several sightings in that area that I was visiting so it really kind of made me think that maybe the people they s s had these sightings in that area were actually seeing Fletch Mercy or Carta <laughs> kind of funny um, but Back to the contact experience. Um, 
you know, he, he's got over 10 years of contact experience with Neff and his family. And you, you can't deny that. You cannot deny that. Um, you know, he made comments about TV shows and these people that these TV shows bring on as experts. And they, they've never even seen one. They've never had any contact experience. They've never even seen one. But yet these these people are being brought on to these TV shows as experts. And you know, I know at least the people that follow me know that there are no experts. So why are these people being brought on? Why are they being, I mean, how did they make a name for themselves out of nothing, is what I'm trying to get. They have no experience, they've never seen one. I'm not going to name names, but I can go through probably a dozen people that have no right talking on the subject. Um, my personal opinion. Um... He also made statements about manipulating our digital equipment. And uh, I've said this for years, and I've actually experienced this. You all who follow me know this. I've experienced, I call it digital manipulation. And uh, I agree. I agree. They, they, And I've also said this. They've also, they have a unique set. Of skills and abilities. And. He is. A huge believer of. I don't know if you want to call it the woo. I don't know where that came from. But it's pretty lame. Um, in the beginning I didn't subscribe to the woo. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I, I soon found out that now they have a unique set of skills and abilities. They could be standing right next to you and you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know they were there. Um, so like I said, this is just a reaction video, but, uh, let me know what all of you think. Um, if you haven't seen any Sasquatch Ontario videos, go check him out. Really, I mean, he is, he's legit. He's absolutely probably one of, one of the top five people to follow on the topic on YouTube. Um, definitely. Definitely, uh, go check him out. Go check out his videos. Incredible stuff. Um, and it, it falls, everything he, he experienced, I experienced. Um, so I know firsthand he's not, he's not Joe Schmo trying to make a name for himself. You know what I mean? Um, Absolutely incredible guy, and uh, you don't he don't take no crap from no one. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, it's just a reaction video. Uh, I have to agree with the title. Ancient people. They're ancient people. It's, it's all there is to it. You know what I mean? They're ancient, whether they're pre-flood people or maybe an offshoot of some evolutionary offshoot. Maybe we're derived from them. But that's another thing that I tend to believe is we are an offshoot of them. They are not an offshoot of us. Um... 
And scientifically, why can't that be? Why can't that be? So, there's over 200 different types of, of human-type people that have been found archaeologically. So, why can't that be? Why can't one offshoot taken off and survived? We did. You know what I mean? We were smart enough to figure this stuff out. They were smart enough to figure stuff out. Why can't, you know, scientifically, why can't that be? Um, in, in my contact experience over the two years, I visited it, my group. Um, they're more human than, than people think. They're more like human than people think. Um, they have different personalities, different attitudes, different likes, dislikes. And I learned all that through my contact experience over those two years. You know, they're different. They're all different, just like people. You have some good ones. You have some bad ones. You have some nice ones. You have some mean ones. Just like, just like us. There's nice people. There's mean people. There's angry people. There's, you know, even in their looks. We look similar, but we look different. And so do they. They look similar, but they look different. Um, so go check out Sasquatch Ontario's newest video. Incredible stuff. He, he's got foot casts spanning 10 years. You know what I mean? Of the same individual showing the growth. And incredible. Incredible stuff. This guy is no joke. He's no... Joe Schmo off the street trying to make a name for himself. So, I definitely recommend going to check him out. If you haven't subscribed to him, do so. He's definitely, in my opinion, one of the best people to follow on this topic. And he definitely doesn't get the credit he deserves. So, Yeah, there you go. So, that's a, just a reaction. I agree with him 100%. And, uh, watching these TV shows on, on, you know, television stuff with these so-called experts. I, I, I don't even watch them. My wife texts me, oh, there's a new Bigfoot thing on TV. And it's like, I don't even go inside to watch it. It's just, it's comical. It's comical. These these people have no right being out there doing what they're doing, banging on trees and making whoops and stuff like that. So, just my opinion. So, all right, everybody. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Spend some great time with some good family, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon.